This video covers how to burn an ISO image to a CD. Uh, when you download files from the Microsoft Academic Alliance website, such as Access 2007 or other free Microsoft software, you download them as ISO image files. An ISO image file is an image file of a CD. It's just like taking a picture of what the CD looks like if you buy it off the shelf. Uh, it's basically condensing all of the files that are on a CD into one file. So in essence, it's like a zip file. If you just copy this file to a disk, it'll copy over as a, as a data file. And so it'll show up on the disk just like this. And of course, if you try to run this file, Windows doesn't know what to do with it. So we need to burn this file over to a disk in an appropriate way so that the files that are in this image extract to the disk and recreate the disk in its original form. To do that, you need a, uh, a burning program like CD Burner XP Pro. And what you need to do is go to uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox, go to filehippo.com. In the bottom right hand corner, click on CD and DVD tools. Click to download CD Burner XP Pro 4.2.4. .4. On the right, click Download Latest Version. When the box up here appears, click on it, click download file. When this box appears, click on save and save it to your hard drive and run the executable later or click on run and let it start the installation from right here. Once this download completes, the installation will automatically start and you will need to go through the installation uh, to complete the installation process. It's very simple. Click on run. Then click next all the way through. Accept this agreement, next, next, next. I'm not going to go through the entire thing because I've already installed it. So once you have installed it, just close down all windows, go to start, all programs, CD Burner XP, CD Burner XP. When this starts, uh, in order to burn an ISO image to a disk, click on burn ISO image. Then click on OK. A small box will pop up. Next to the empty box, click on the three dots. This will open a box to search for the ISO image file. Browse to your desktop or to wherever you've saved your ISO image file that you've downloaded from the Microsoft Academic Alliance site. Click on the ISO image file. In this case, we have an image file for Access 2007. Then click on Open. Once you have that done, insert a blank CD into the CD-ROM drive. Close the drive. Wait approximately 20 seconds and then click on Burn Disk. When you click on burn disk, the burn process will start and the ISO file will be extracted to the CD and when you finish, you will have an original copy of the Access CD just like it was sold in the store. On that CD will be a setup file that you need to run in order to start the setup process. After the CD is burnt, you will need to extract the CD or eject the CD and then reinsert the CD before trying to access the files on the CD. These are the complete instructions for how to burn an ISO file to a CD. If you have any questions, you may contact me at davisj at clevelandcommunitycollege.edu. That's davisj at clevelandcommunitycollege.edu.